Hey, this is Jenny Jones, Digital Growth Hacks Club. Hey, listen, got another tool I wanted to put in front of you. Um, this one's gonna help you put your personas and or your avatars together. Now, everybody's talking about this chat GPT and all that, and I think that's great. When you start asking chat GPT personal questions like who's the best advisor for me or who is the best plumber for me in my area, it's not gonna be able to answer any of those questions because it does not personalize, right? And then there's some limitations to chat GPT as far as going back in history, just what it does is it takes a collective of things and kind of helps you put things together. Um, so if this is your first time on this channel, please go ahead and like and subscribe. Let me break down some things for you that you still need and will be even more important to you moving into the future. This is a tool that helps you uh, put together personas. It kind of tells you what they like, right? I put together two personas. These are the people and it's kind of spot on for the things that I'm doing. But what you need to know um, and discover about personas is anything that can spit out something for you right away, you need to be, uh, you need to think careful about because it's not going to be as accurate as possible. What I love about this particular tool, uh, there's going to be a link in the description. This is uh, this is my AppSumo tool of the week. They come out with different tools. This is the one that I'm liking and that I'm using. Um, one of the first things that it gives you, and what they're, they what they recommend you do first is they want you to look at the a quick guide to uh, buyer personas, right, and the frameworks right for use cases and pain points and buying triggers right and they, they want you to look at their 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 these are all free right let me download one let me let you take a look at it stand by so what i did was i downloaded one of the frameworks for you the brief um guide to buyer personas and ideal customer profile frameworks what you do is you you download this you kind of go through it a little bit right and you get an understanding of what the the triggers and or the pain points and the journey maps and the buying triggers right and you do this use case you go through it right emotional physical uh, mental and you learn these triggers right then what you do is you do your little research here and what you're able to do is you have what's called here the brain and company's elements of value it's a pyramid and it tells you the difference um, and you can look right here as we zoom in here. Let's, let's little zoom in a little closer here. And you can see here the functional, emotional, life-changing, social impact. So these are the elements that drive uh, the buyer behavior and or putting together your, your framework for your, your perfect customer, right? And then you put these together and you start studying these and it helps you put together the, the gender, the age, the generation, what are you looking at? And then it just kind of gives you the ideas of what you need to do. Now, they have a couple of worksheets here you have to go through. This is if you wanted to go through and you really, really wanted to study it. If you're really trying to become good at what you do as far as trying to trigger and evoke emotions of the, of the people trying to purchase your product, then this is a very good tool. You should definitely take a look at it. Definitely for the price, I think, to have this this is very good um i'm gonna have the founder possibly get the founder on the show and he's going to talk a little bit more about it um but let me take you through the two that i did this is one this is julie female 40 years old samantha 35 years old now these are you may say okay well where did these come from jenny this is from my customer profile of the people um that i serve in in one of my businesses mostly my retirement business um, people are looking for that now what it does is once i loaded her information i didn't load her information once i loaded the demographics and her psychographics of the people who are attracted to my product this is what it gave me back it gave me by a person by the name of julie age 40 urban four-year degree upper mass market job elementary school teacher needs be happy be popular be accepted nature very persuasive proactive people oriented source of happiness good work self moral virtue model always be memorable drives approval popularity people and communication pursuits and downtime she goes to meet up right personality traits this is what this software produced for me right agreeableness impulse control doing versus thinking 
these are some of the brands and the lifestyle choices that it it went back and it came back to me right they may use slack because she's a school teacher i don't know she may use zelle right she probably goes to get coffee all the time so starbucks these are just good things that i didn't even know but this is what this put together for me okay so now um this is her profile right so let's look at how do i market her and again this software gave me all of this right um themes to consider being safe feeling secure achieving your goals right sincere competent rugged a pill of transformation this is some powerful stuff that i wouldn't even known about had a good discussion with the founder he told me how they're able to come up with this and the psychology behind it uh use uh use fomo yeah they like fomo fear of missing out right um experts right they like experts when it, when you quote and quote experts focus on popular features use results in recognition personal visibility this stuff is working i've been using this so this is how do i market to this person right so this is the messaging hold on let me get back um this is the messaging this is the um the content that i use that i should use ways to help help to uh how to help your clients write better headlines right and so these are the different things that i should be using try before you buy contest sweepstakes infographics these are the these are the posts that i should be doing in my messaging no this is the type of content that i need to be using this is the sequences right they've given me they gave me all of this share user customer ratings attract to engage to convert right invite people to enter sweepstakes post a link to a white paper these are the things that i should be doing let's look at some of the branding here right these are the different colors that they may be attracted to this is this is weird this is the psychographics right and then let's look at the social right do they have accounts right social tendencies regularly use them be influential type social friends and family so on and so forth open to interactions make positive comments upload photos and so on and so forth right these are the personal personality um, keywords right and then this is the empathy board right thinks feel says does right these are the things they, they gave me all of this so now i know how to market to them these are the pain sees the trees not the forest right okay they don't see the details they just see the whole trees reframes rationalizes this is some of the stuff that this tool can do for you this is my deal of the week this is a this is an absolute um deal now that was julie now right and so let me show you the one that it did for samantha right um Let's look at hers. She's a millennial. Millennial like this are usually outgoing, responsible, strong-willed, right? A little bit different. Pursuits and downtime. Search is Zillow, right? She has a two-year degree, courtroom clerk. These are the brands, right? Dunkin' Donuts, right? They're probably on a budget. The other one does Starbucks. They make a little bit more. Four-year degree. This one's Dunkin' Donuts. They're probably spending a little bit less. This one uses PayPal. The other one uses Zelle. You see them you see what i'm saying you see the the theme here very proactive people oriented right always be grateful graceful right how do i market to her right power novel overall utility they they like fomos use emojis no right <laughs> proper grammar punctuation okay so again these are the different uh what kind of content am I using? Quizzes, right? They're like quizzes. Lunch and learns, right? Lunch and learns, quizzes. The other one, I think they like contests and so on and so forth, right? So again, this is, uh, I don't want to get into the details of how, you, what you have to do is you have to upload the information. Actually, let me go back and let me just kind of show you um, kind of the basis of it. I may come back because this video is a little bit longer, but let's do a new profile. I'm gonna take you through some of the steps and then show you what it's what it's able to generate. So you can put in a name. Let's put in Jenny. I don't know. Let's put in Jenny. Let's put in female, age, uh, 37, 
location, suburban, occupation, I don't know, small business owner. And then so these are some of the things you have to put together, household income, uh, upper middle market. Um, I want their buyer user, right? Oh, education level, four year degree. All right, and so then you select like a profile. Who do you think may fit that profile? Uh, I'll go here. She'll be my next profile, right? Then I have to describe some things about her. What qualities do I think she may have? Um, use a search bar. Um, let me see, I'm put happy. Let me see. She's at, uh, happy right and we'll go next you can put in multiple descriptors there and so on and so forth uh, select the occupation right I don't know um, she owns her own business so said um, put her in a legal occupation right slowly uh, she's a I don't know maybe she's a lawyer I don't know and so you put the job in there. She's an attorney, right? And these are the things that once you've done your profiles, who's your perfect customer? Who do you think is attracted to your business? You put this in here, the interest, these are optional. You don't have to put them, they're optional. I don't know, I'll put watching TV. If you select any of these and you may think, then they will give you some more things that may think about us. Maybe she likes team sports, right? And then you can put some, these are traits, these are optional, right? She's an extrovert. Let's get at a little bit more. Or, and then you can you or you can evaluate some of the current customers that you may have. And then what has attracted you to our business? And you can probably borrow what they're thinking. And then you can put those in. Um, so we'll go next here. More liberal, more conservative. We'll call it more conservative. Uh, maybe more religious. And we'll go like that, right? Okay, so now we had these input measures. We put those in. And let's see what we get from. So this is Jenny, right? I don't know. Funny. That's Jenny, 37 years old, attorney. Uh, she's optimistic, personality traits. These are her brands. Again, Chase. Uh, she's not using um, those other ones, Trader Joe's. These are just some of the brands that you can market off of. Impulse control, doing versus thinking, right? And I may need, and so that's her. She's a millennial because it went off of the age. And whatever the age is, it's gonna tell you what they're they're more used to. She's a little bit older, so they moved her a little bit away from the PayPal's and stuff like that, moved her into the chase, things of that nature, all right? And then, um, no, that is her, no, that's her profile right here. So let's, how do we market to her? She likes being safe, um, sincere, competent, experts, likes emojis, yes. Okay, so again, people, this is, um, this is the tool. Again, doing these downloads, these exercises will allow you to be able to line up, um, put together some of your, um, personas these are all free downloads you go and do these exercises and you load it up it has been jenny jones please like and subscribe i'm always doing these different hacks going underneath the scenes going underneath the hood looking at these different tools hey this is my tool of the week power personas available now at app sumo for a nice nice low price um should be a link in the description you guys take care goodbye for now